Hey guys, Nick with Yuko here. So today we're gonna to be talking about best practices for storing your EUC in the winter or best practices for riding your EUC in the winter if you choose to go out and do that. So I know a lot of you might live in colder areas where riding your EUC isn't really feasible during the winter. So in that case, what you might wanna do is store your wheel. So one of the main things you wanna be concerned about when storing your wheel is the battery. So the battery can be thought of sort of like a balloon where it doesn't like to be stored at 100% charge all the time because that keeps a lot of stress on it. So if you stress your battery while you're storing it, that might lead to decreased battery lifespan once you start using it again. But at the same time, we also don't wanna store it when the battery is too depleted because that can have a similar negative impact on the battery's lifespan. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is try and keep the battery's charge as close to around 50% as you can. It doesn't need to be exact, somewhere between 50 and 80 if it's already charged up a little bit, or charge it as close to 50 as you can if it's undercharged. But if you do that, the batteries are not going to feel as much stress as they would if they were under or overcharged. So that will increase your battery's lifespan while you're not using your wheel in the winter. So another thing you wanna keep in mind when storing your wheel is to make sure that it's not stored in too cold of conditions. So we want to avoid places like cold attics, cold garages, things like that. Uh, a good rule of thumb to follow is that if you're happy, your wheel is happy in terms of temperature. So maybe we might want to consider storing wheels in places like an extra spare room. We just want to avoid those colder areas. So if you're not going to be storing your EUC and you're going to be riding through the winter, there are some other factors you're going to have to take into consideration. The first of which is the range you're going to want to expect. So no matter what, whether it's a wheel, a camera, even your phone, batteries in general, due to the way they're constructed, are going to have less capacity in colder conditions. So you're definitely gonna expect, if you're in an area with colder temperatures, that your wheel will have less range than normal. Uh, this is a totally normal side effect of just colder conditions. All right, so batteries aside, let's talk about rain. I know a lot of people encounter increased amounts of rain during the winter seasons. So lighter rain conditions are generally considered to be okay, but we definitely want to avoid heavier rain conditions. Whenever you do decide to go through rainy conditions, you want to make sure that your charge port cover is securely fastened to your wheel. Not all wheels are constructed the same. So if you are going to be someone who's riding through uh, conditions of lighter rain pretty frequently, you might want to look into taking further measures to weatherproof your wheel. Uh, if you're interested in hearing about that from us, let us know in the comments. Another thing you'd want to watch out for is areas of standing water or puddles because they might be deeper than you expect. So what about snow? So there are definitely some people who choose to go through snowy conditions with their wheels. Usually these people will swap out their tires for knobby tires or something similar to that effect that are made for off-roading. I don't think we can officially recommend that people ride in the snow only for the reason that you could cause damage to yourself or your wheel if you accidentally happen to slip out. So lastly, we have ice. So as you might expect, ice is not very compatible with our wheels. So I'd say in general to avoid icy conditions, no ice. So we hope this was helpful for some of you new riders out there. We know there's a lot of new riders coming in every day. Uh, I'm sure there's a couple people who have gotten some new wheels from the crazy deals that were going on this past week. So if you have anything you might want to learn about from us in future videos, let us know down in the comments. We hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like this video, be sure to leave a like, and if you disliked it, there's another button for that too. That's it for today. Stay warm and safe riding.